How are you? Okay. Did you have a nice week? It was okay. How's business? How's work? Normal. My name is Nick May. I am the director of Normal. I decided two years ago, I always wanted to do movies. And so my, my first degree was in film studies. And um, I felt always frustrated as an, as an anthropologist uh, uh, about not being able to convey what it means to be with people you're researching and having to do an X-ray kind of representation of people who are in life, uh, you know, in, in flesh and bones in, in front of you with their beauties, uglinesses, problems, you know, like strengths and how difficult it is to be with them and to make meaning out of, you know, the ways in which people present themselves. And so, yeah, it was about two years ago in, uh, in, uh, in 2010. I did an MA in filmmaking and uh, as a way to bring together what I already knew about, about film. And then uh, it, it went on from there. I, I, start, I studied acting as a way to learn how to direct uh, actors. And that's where I met uh, Tonya at, um, at Caravan Sarai, which is now Giles Foreman's uh, acting studio, uh, who is a friend and somebody who supported the film. And, um, and it became really um, a way of working with actors became a way to bring back the real people I met. So we prepared the characters very well uh, across, uh, you know, months and months. And then I entered the scene as myself. I acted myself and, and, and they acted the real character. And that was a way, if you want, to protect both the identities of the real people but also to play with the other, if you want, uh, topic of the film, which is the representation of credibility. I'm uh, playing Candy, who's 19 years old, and um, of course it's a, it's a real person, and uh, she comes from Romania, from a small village, and um, <coughs> um, she decides to sort of run away with her boyfriend uh, to the UK, and as she gets in the UK, although she's been promised that she'll have a normal life, um, she finds out that she's actually going to work as a prostitute because she's forced by her boyfriend and his dad. So, um, and then she is involved in the sex industry, but what really, what I really find interesting about this character, because of course, we come from completely different backgrounds, um, is the fact that although, you know, you see young girls uh, doing this as a job and you see a man being there, sort of pimping away someone that, you know, gains money out of them, is the fact that uh, in, in real life, they do not, they're not always the victims. They are actually the ones that want to be there. I would never, never force another girl to do that by beating her up and you know, I'm not a pimp. I'm not a pimp. So this is what I would like the film to do, to just get people to be more aware of the complexity of the situation and of the fact that, you know, if people work in the sex industries because in the end they decided to, and even if that decision is very, very constrained, um, then that is something we have to accept. You know, we don't always decide what we want to do. It is a big deal for, 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 for us because this is like um, a festival with a lot of clout and a lot of prestige. And, and uh, when I learned that there were 4,000 films being submitted this year, I just fell from the chair. I just, I knew it was a big deal to be here, but it's, it's really, really important because also the audience this festival has um, is probably going to make the most out of the movie. I think that um, the people around the festival and people coming to this festival, uh, you know, will probably have the best chance of enjoying what we do and at least of engaging with it in an interesting way. So I think it's going to be fun.